Since capturing the attention of mainstream music fans with his polarizing and rebellious antics in 2010, Tyler the Creator has cultivated a unique and loyal fan base. Over the years, Tyler's music has changed a lot from his bastard and goblin days where he was eating roaches and shit on camera. But along with that change has come an evolution in his clothing brand as well. I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com and in today's video, we'll give a history rundown of Golf Wang the brand. We'll explore just how much it's grown along with the rapper that helped create it. But before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to help us to continue to grow as a channel. But with that being said, let's jump right in. I'm sure most fans know, but for those that don't, Golf Wang is a play on the rap collective's Wolfgang title. And it was established in 2011 when Tyler and the I Future crew were beginning to gain serious notoriety. Practically as soon as I Future released their debut mixtape in 2010, Tyler and friends set about making themselves masters of merch. In November of 2011, Our Future opened a month-long Los Angeles pop-up that ended up becoming a permanent streetwear fixture on Fairfax Avenue. Golf Wang was an upgrade from the regular merch, which was mostly just gildan blanks printed with graphics like cat's heads with laser beams shooting out of their eyes, the donut logo, or our future member Lucas Versetti's teenage face. Golf Wang managed to maintain the spirit of our future with plenty of fluorescent colors and youthful graphics though. When Golf Wang launched, it officially became the uniform for the hardcore Tyler fan. But to Tyler's credit, it wasn't just another instance of a rapper putting his name behind a brand and throwing it out there. Since day one, it's been co-designed by Phil Toselli, who spoke on Tyler's creative process in 2016 interview with Hollywood Reporter, stating, quote, It's funny to watch him because he's not trained in any way. He just has these wild ideas that he taught himself to make in the reality. He's very rapid fire, bouncing off the walls and hyper as shit. It just works, though, end quote. Tyler would wear golf wang apparel as much as he wore Supreme back in the day. And anyone of a certain age knows that Tyler was the Aaron Rodgers to Jeeba's brand. I mean, sure, the team existed before they arrived and they had great success. But after they arrived, they took things to a whole new level. Mind you, our future was still just a group of rebellious teenagers hanging out on Los Angeles' iconic Fairfax Avenue when they got their first glimpse of the spotlight, and Golf Wayne quickly symbolized the block's youthful crowd. Tyler's fame was growing fast, and with that came an expanded focus on the clothing line, and by 2014, Golf Wayne had fully split into his own entity separate from what the musician had going on his own. Golf Wang's first big partnership was with bands, which resulted in multiple brightly colored variations of the era, which were released from 2013 to 2016. Tyler also started creating thematic lookbooks to accompany each Golf Wang season. The apparel remained consistent with each season feeling slightly more refined than the last. Golf Wang changed again in 2016 with his first runway show at the now defunct Maid LA, where Kanye West and Kendall Jenner sat front row. The show indicated just how invested he was in his brand and its creative direction. In an interview with Hollywood Reporter that took place right before the show, Tyler stated, quote, Mostly everyone kinda hates my clothes, but it's cool. My clothes are for someone going to Taco Bell or making an illegal deal that they shouldn't be doing. Those are the people buying it, end quote. And whether you're a fan of Golf Wang or not, one thing you have to admit, it is unique. It's also quite innovative. Many a brand backed by rappers have come and gone, and mainly it's because rappers are rappers and not designers. Rarely do you find a Kanye West or Tyler who actually has an eye for fashion as well. Neither are classically trained, and in fact, they show that that whole quote, classically trained thing is a stupid concept in fashion. Either you have the eye for it or you don't. 
and having a fancy piece of paper from some overpriced institution won't give you what you never had. I say all that to say this, the evolution of Golf Wang shows that they just might be here for a while. But what do you think? Are you a fan of Golf Wang? Hit us up in the comment section and let us know. Also, if you made it this far, then don't forget to smash that like button for me. Liking and sharing the video is the only way you can help us to continue to grow to be a bigger and better channel. Also, if you want to be updated every time we drop a new video just like this one, then hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell. That way you will be reminded whenever a new episode drops. And with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out. Until next time, peace.